Hello, my name is Jan Stiles and I am the Curriculum Specialist for Math for the Paradise Valley Unified School District. Paradise Valley is one of the largest K-12 school districts in the state of Arizona. And despite our excellent test scores, our Professional Development Director, Julie Sally, last year recognized that we still had way too many students walking away from math, failing math, and actually dropping out of high school and dropping out of life, if you will. She took it upon herself to look at some experimental programs and other intervention type devices to help these students. And we're here today to talk about one of those that has apparently been very, very successful. And one of those teachers is here to talk about it. And Robin Rosenthal is the math teacher and department chair at Paradise Valley High School, one of the schools that had adopted this particular program. Robin, can you tell us a little bit about your background in math? I've been teaching high school math for 23 years. I teach everything from pre-algebra up through advanced placement calculus, and I have a master's degree in secondary math education. Robin, what made you open to this new methodology? Well, it was very frustrating when we had kids that just didn't get the math. We were, they were just going through the programs that we were teaching them, and they just didn't get it, didn't understand it. What kinds of changes have you seen in their abilities as a result of the implementation of this new program? The students are now understanding what they're doing and they're able to explain their answers and they're much more successful. We have students that could not pass the Ames test in the past and they have met the standards on the Ames test this year. Very good. What kinds of changes in the, in the individuals have you seen, the students and the, themselves, their personalities? The kids in my class, had, their self-confidence has just grown. I mean, their self-confidence in math and their self-confidence that leads over into the rest of their lives. And they're just totally different children than we had at the beginning of the year. And it's awesome to see what kind of change it's made in them. What kind of changes has this caused in you as a teacher? I now understand what the kids don't get. And I can now help them to understand the math and to enjoy the math which is something that they have not been able to do in their past. My name is Joanne Magden and I teach with Robin Rosenthal at Paradise Valley High School using the Cognition Ignition program. This is Kelsey Carnett, one of my students, and her mom, Sherry Carnett. Sherry, could you tell us a little bit about your background and some of the issues that you faced? Kelsey with math probably since about third or fourth grade she just never understood it. No matter how many flashcards we bought, how many books we bought to help study, how many times we asked the teacher what can we do, how many tutors I hired over the summer, it just wasn't helping. Nothing was getting through to her in math. So how did Kelsey really respond to your efforts? She, you'd sit and you'd help her with a problem in math. Math at our house at, for homework was absolutely horrible at times. You'd work through the first problem, possibly get through the second problem with her, then she'd be on her own. She'd sit, try to do the third problem. The book would slam, the calculator would go flying, the pencil would go flying, the book would go flying. She'd go into her room, slam her door, hated life, hated math. And that was, she was dropping out of school. And this, I mean, this was in third, fourth, and fifth grade. I mean, it was just horrible. So did you notice any change in Kelsey and her math abilities because of your interventions? Not enough. Not enough to forego what we were, I mean, we were paying private teachers that were her old teachers as tutors, and they were helping, but it just, wasn't enough. I was horrified when she was going to have to go to high school and pass this Ames test to graduate. So did you feel that Kelsey was headed for college or that she would be successful in life? That was a big if. Um, we had discussed some things, I mean maybe community college, but I never saw a university in her future. What changes have you now noticed in Kelsey since um, this program has come into her life? <laughs> well, this last year, no books have flown. Um, homework is, if she has some, it's, it's a lot easier. She seems to be able to do it in her room. She can come out and show us that she did it. Um, she seems to have more self-esteem. She can now go into McDonald's with K-12 
cash and come out with the correct change. Uh, she doesn't have to have somebody hold her hand to go into a grocery store with her to figure out that she doesn't, she purchased enough and has enough cash with her. It's just huge. It's like 180 degree turnaround. Kelsey, can you describe your feelings uh, prior to this year? Um, how you felt about math? How you felt about yourself? In the past, I hated math so much that I would just throw books and I would hate my parents and I would not want to do it ever and stuff that my mom bought me, I would hide it so I wouldn't have to do it again and I would have my grandma do my homework sometimes and I wouldn't let my mom know that she did it. And so how did you really feel about yourself during this time? I felt really bad about myself. I felt like I was not going to make it in the world. Well Kelsey, when did you realize that you could actually really do math? In the beginning of this year, when I came, I didn't think I could do it at all, and then she introduced this new program, and like after the first two weeks or something, I actually didn't stand it. Like, I got to get it, and I was like, hey, I get this now. And I got com more confident and confident throughout the year. Have you seen some changes, Sherry? Huge. Um... Before she would never go into McDonald's or into a grocery store by herself with like a five dollar bill and fear that she would embarrass herself and not have added it up correctly. Now it's like, okay mom, give me the money, off she goes, and it's like I'm broke. That's great. That's great. Kelsey, what is it now that you really see um, with this Cognition Ignition program? What, do, what is it that you are visualizing? I'm visualizing the whole fact that the dots like when I saw numbers I couldn't visualize the number like five meant absolutely nothing to me it was just five but now since like this whole new relationship thing and the dots it really helped me visualize what like the number five can mean and stuff and you've had some discussions with some of your friends uh, about math this last year I know can you tell us a little bit about some of those yeah, my friends, they don't understand math at all, and my friend Montana actually dropped out of math because she didn't understand it, and, like, she didn't, I tried to help her, and she actually, like, understood it a little bit more, like, I saw it in her face, just be like, wow, I actually get this, but she's, she wasn't in my class, so it was still hard for her, but um, I have a feeling that, like, if she actually got to learn this program that she would actually understand that and not drop out. And how has this improvement affected other subject areas for you? Like science, um, we do like graphing and stuff and we did graphing in this program and it helped a lot with the graphs in science and it helped a lot with the math part of science. Kelsey, how has this all affected what you think you might do with your life? I now believe that I can pass the Ames test. I feel that I can graduate from high school. I feel like I can do more in college. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do in college yet, but I definitely feel like I have more options in college, and I really feel confident in myself. Kelsey, can you describe for me what you see here in this diagram? The whole with four groups. Otherwise, W equals 4G. Groups with three dots. Otherwise, G equals 3D. And the four here is relationship to W and G. So, Kelsey, what is this FFOO? Well, it's fancy form of one, and it means W over 4G equals one, and then 4G over W is just a flipped rotation of a fancy form of one. And same with G over 3D and flipped. Kelsey, can you tell me what you see here? Four dots over two dots, which you can regroup into two groups over one group, which equals two over one. This is Rob McDuff, and he is president of the Infodynamics Applications LTD, and he's the developer of the Cognition Ignition Program. Dr. McDuff has a PhD in math and he has over 30 years experience in various education roles. Rob, what's the difference between your program and what's normally taught in high school math? That there is a 
a gap between the concrete mathematics is being taught in elementary school and the abstract mathematics is teaching in middle and high school. And what we've added is a step in between those that allows the students to transition from one to the other. Rob, is there something that's happening in the regular math classes that's causing these students to fail? Yes, there is. It turns out it's very interesting uh, that you asked that question because we actually view these students as curriculum casualties. Now, what we mean by that is that the way in which the curriculum is being taught, it conflicts with these students' natural way of learning. It turns out that what we have to do is coordinate the activation of various parts of the brain, and that's really what makes the learning possible. And that's not being done in the regular math class. Rob, is there anything you'd like to add? Yeah, there is. There's a couple things. We basically teach the way we have been taught. And so what we've been doing so far is we have been handing down an elitist method of teaching to the next generation. But that only works for about 20% of the population. The problem that we're experiencing is how do we teach mathematics in such a way is that we can reach the other 80% of the population and do that in time for the next generation. Robin, uh, can you uh, tell us what uh, Paradise Valley's plans for this program are for next year? Sure. Well, the Paradise Valley, Paradise Valley High School is going to continue on with the program. We are adding more classes. And in addition to that, we are adding two more high schools with the program and one middle school. And we hope that in the future, we're going to bring this program down, starting it in fifth grade through seventh grade levels. And if we do that, that will eliminate the need to remediate the kids when they get to high school. And we can have more successful students, and life will be great.